Hello everyone, my name is Myra and in today's video, I will be discussing with you guys some common DevOps interview questions. So starting off, I would say that not all DevOps interviews are the same. Interviews depend company to company and also depend on the interviewer. So do not expect that the questions I will tell you, you will get them. It depends on the company, it depends on the DevOps interview or the person taking the interview. However, I will be discussing some common general DevOps questions you can expect in a DevOps interview. So starting off, I would say that the first most basic question I witnessed in the interviews I've given is that the first question that the interview usually asks is that introduce yourself and also introduce some technologies you've worked on. So this is a common question mostly asked in the start of a DevOps interview. So you should be prepared for this answer. First of all, just give a brief introduction about yourself, how much experience you have, how much you've been working on, and then also explain what type of technologies you've worked on. So for example, you know the DevOps field is broad. So start off by the major services, or I mean the major tools you worked with. For example, if you have worked with AWS, start off by telling you have this much experience in AWS, mainly these, these services. So you can also talk about other tools if you have worked with, for example, Jenkins or Docker, Kubernetes, etc. So again, just a brief introduction. Don't go too long, but don't won't be too short that you just simply end and try to tell as much in detail as possible so the interviewer doesn't have any questions left to ask after that for your introduction part only so moving forward once you're done with your intro you know the interviewer the interviewer knows you there are two types of interviews that can go on one interview that i have witnessed is that in that the interview just keeps on asking you specific questions so you know he or she has a whole list and just the person just goes on one by one and asks you different questions so those questions can vary from aws basic questions like you know what is s3 um what is the vpc explain an ec2 instance how do you ssh into an ec2 instance you know the basic aws um questions or the interview uh, interviewer can ask you questions like about on linux like some linux commands maybe or how to do something specific in you in using linux so again there can be specific questions but they can also be general questions like someone just asks you explain how to go on a process of creating an ec2 instance how to install things on an ec2 instance how to ssh into an ec2 instance so you know again it depends but these are something these are some questions that are mostly asked so i was talking about that there are two types one is a specific interview the person just asks you about different questions one by one one by one and you just have to answer them or if you don't know the answer you just say sorry i do not know the answer to this can we move on to the next one or there's also another type of interview which is more like you know general and discussion based so inter so the interviewer in that interview would just talk to you would just discuss to you about your experience and your technology knowledge so he or she won't ask you like you know what is aws or what is s3 what is vpc what is ec2 etc etc he or she would probably you know just discuss with you would discuss maybe just talk with you like the interview may ask you about a project you've done like you know uh, the person would ask you explain me how you did this whole project with, with your team or with your previous company or the person would also ask you about another project that you did or any type of experience you have so again it may vary on your own interview so moving forward, I would say that the most general questions are based upon AWS if you're giving an AWS um, DevOps interview. So there would be like basic AWS services questions or maybe if it is in a hard interview, they may go into more detail. And maybe if they're asking you about AWS code pipeline, they may ask you about code commit, code build in detail. They may ask you like a random question about um the build spec file so you know you need to know the details too you also need to know the definitions again an interview can depend company to company and person to person so again you need to know the basics but you also need to know the details 
because the interviewer can ask you anything and it's really bad if the interviewer asks you and you don't know the answer i mean it's a common because it's a common thing that you may not know an answer to um a question that the interview asks you but there are ways to also answer those questions so for example an interview asks you a question and you don't know the answer of that just simply don't say i don't know maybe try rephrasing uh, maybe try asking the interview to rephrase the question so you can maybe you know take time to answer or maybe ask the interviewer to ask another question instead or maybe you can answer too like you know just give an answer related to that but don't say i don't know directly because that would be kind of like a bad um, impression on the interviewer but like if there's any specific question like what is s3 and you don't know what is s3 so then you can say sorry i do not know the answer to this but i would prefer that you know just prefer not to say i don't know and maybe try uh rephrase asking uh, asking the interview to rephrase and you know the things i just told you right now so you know these type of questions can be asked another most common thing that i've seen in devops interview is that they usually mostly ask for programming so Personally, I am not a programmer. And when I had my DevOps interviews, I was asked this question a lot, a lot. Do you know how to program? Can you code? And how familiar are you with programming languages? So if you are a programmer or a coder, just go and let the interview know about that, that you've done, you've done coding in this, this, this language or uh, what your experience is but personally for example for me i didn't have any programming experience so my answer was that i am not a programmer and i am not a coder however as i am in the devops field i do have knowledge of programming languages i also recently started learning python because i was um interested in that uh, language but i am like not a whole newbie to programming languages i can understand code if there's any issues or any bugs in the code i can you know interpret them and i can try to fix them but again i cannot code um so that was my my common answer in an interview so again it depends on person to person if you know how to code that's good but if you don't like me then you can just simply tell the interviewer that you know that you're not a programmer and but you do know you know you know you're learning step by step you're gaining more experience and you may end up learning programming so just don't say that no i am not doing to going to do any programming and i don't know programming languages or coding just don't say that but you know just try to explain your uh, personal views on programming maybe do that like just like i just did so again um pr programming languages questions are common so again just let the interviewer know before that you know you're not a programmer so that he or she doesn't ask you those programming languages questions beforehand if you don't let the uh, per interviewer know in your introduction um, then it will be kind of bad that in the middle of the interview, you will be like, I don't know programming. So I would suggest you and advise you to always like, you know, tell in the introduction that you know this, 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 and you don't know this, this, this. So the interviewer already knows it before our hand. And another thing, uh, another common questions that can be asked in a devops interview are related to linux because you know linux is common. It is being used everywhere and it will be used in your devops um job too if you get the position so again there will be a few linux uh, questions personally when i had a few interviews there were many hard linux questions that i didn't know about like there were a few commands that i haven't like worked on and the interview asked me for those um linux commands but i didn't know the answer to that so i was like i am not a linux uh, like professional so i don't know the answer to that and he or she was like fine it's fine if you don't know that much of linux but it's good to have the basic understanding of linux and its basic commands so i would say another common topic that is discussed in devops interviews is databases so databases you know is commonly used so there may be questions about rds relational and non-relational databases make sure to note the definitions for both some some interviewers may go in depth of databases if they're like professional database workers they may ask you about more in depth so make sure to know just more some details about databases too but like if you don't know that much it's fine you can let the interviewer know that you know you're just like a basic level 
you you only had the basic level knowledge and not all of it so again it depends on interviewer to interviewer and what type of questions they ask you other questions that you can be asked in a devops interview may be related to containers or configuration management tools so you know can some configuration management tools are like chef puppet and ansible you may if you if you don't have experience with them it's fine but it's good to actually have the knowledge of them like what they are and how they can be used you can let again you again you can let the interviewer know that you know you haven't worked with these tools but you do have the knowledge of them and how they work and same with containerization you can talk about docker and kubernetes and how they work but again you should always you know take a look at them and how they work before going into an before going into an interview so that you're not just blank whenever someone mentions something and you do know like you know what that tool does and how it works another thing another commonly asked devop interview again if you haven't actually worked on that tool and if you don't have any experience with it it's fine you can let the interviewer know beforehand so that the person doesn't end up asking you questions regarding that so it's a good thing i would advise you to do another commonly asked devops interview question may be related to ci cd and pipeline because you know that's a major part of devops they can be questions regarding aws specific but also they can ask you maybe about your jenkins experience so i would also suggest that jenkins is a common tool devops that is used in the devops world and if you're someone who wants to get into devops field make sure to also learn jenkins a little bit because jenkins like is a really amazing ci tool and i would suggest you like learn it and be ready because you may get questions about jenkins so again guys there can be a lot of questions that you can expect i mean devops interview questions can be hard but can also be easy it all depends on you make sure to be confident make sure to don't be nervous and don't stress out because just relax sit and just uh, talk to the interviewer like you're just discussing something and don't be like straightforward and just answer everything i would suggest you to remain calm and be confident and if you know something let the interviewer know if you don't know something let the interviewer know don't be like you know just stuck or don't sit blank in front of the interviewer that's bad if you don't know something you know just try talking about something else or change the topic or change the answer or change the question like there are some techniques that you should you should you know maybe search them up on how to answer a few questions of interviews and stuff like that but i hope this video helped you guys in f being familiar with some devops questions you may expect in a devops interview and i will end the video over here hope you guys liked it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel like and comment comment down your devops interview experiences and if there are any questions that came into your mind that you can write them out write them out in the comment section so other people can take a help from it and also like the video subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys in our next video